In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the brand new rounding corners feature in Kittle. Now you can take pretty much any shape in our shape panel box over in the left side panel menu, and you can use these little anchor points that come up as you can see here where it says radius when I hover to create a rounded corner, meaning I can go ahead and click on this and start rounding the corner. All I did was just click on that little node on that little circle with my mouse and now as I pull it in to the inside of the shape it creates a perfectly rounded corner and so let's go over a couple of super important points about this new rounding corner feature in Kittle and then I'll actually show you a use case or two that I think it would be most relevant in. So as you can see here I already mentioned that the different ways to round the corners are by selecting the different circles in each point. Now if I grab if I click and drag just from one point all the way in you can see right now that it is affecting all of the corners basically so I can't exactly grab one and just make that one uh, sharp by itself or one rounded by itself without selecting all of them but what I can do is I can actually hold the alt or option key and then when I click and drag we can just round this one corner so all I'm doing is on my keyboard right now I'm holding the alt or the option key depending on which keyboard you have and I am clicking and dragging and then I can just simply let go and now you can see that that one corner is rounded. Now I can also continue to do this for example on the opposite side I could hold alt or the option key click and drag and so now I'm only rounding the corner that is in the bottom left and I can continue doing this by holding the alt or option key and going around all the corners. Now if I don't have anything on the keyboard selected meaning I don't have the alt or the option key selected if I haven't held that to select one point and I grab any of the points now they are going to revert back to acting as a whole, acting as a unit, because I'm not holding Alt or Option key. And if I grab and drag them all the way back out into the corner, you can see that even though I've moved past this corner on the bottom right, because I don't have anything selected with the Alt or Option key, it is now affecting all of them, and they are going back to the square format. So another way that we can round the corners is over here on the right side panel, where you see this little corner radius area. And if I type in something like 50, you can see that all of the corners are adjusting, right? So they're all going to be at 50 pixels. And if I open up the corner radius settings, that is where I can have more nuanced control on each corner. So if I just wanted the top left to be even more rounded like 150 you can see over here on the left that it has changed to 150 maybe I want both the top left and the top right to do that and so this is a really cool way to get some interesting shapes and characters which is super fun now you may notice that as we're trying to type in individual numbers here, for example, if I wanted the 150 on the top left and 150 on the top right, it's not quite going to work because that's just not how the corners meet. You see how as we move them all in, they are basically creating like a circle. So you're just going to have to get, you know, you're going to have to play with how the different radiuses are there. So for example, now we could have all of these at 95, 95, and here in 95. So the, the closer you get in towards the center, the points are meeting, meaning the top left, bottom left, whatever, they're meeting together. So you may not be able to get like 200 on all of them, for example, because you're just gonna create a circle, which is what's gonna happen if I move all of these in together. You can see there, and now we have a circle. Now, a couple other things to note is the points will work on other interesting shapes, such as a star where there's a lot of points. Again, if I grab any one of these and pull them inside like this, you can see that the uh, shape is rounding off. So instead of a pointed star, we could have a subtly rounded star, or we can have a super rounded star. We can also adjust the corner points of the outside. So for example, I can do the same thing from the outside and create some really, really cool organic looking shapes. And again, if I want to just select one, I can hold the Alt or Option key and I can just round the first one. I'm not entirely sure why you would want to do that, but you could create, again, some super interesting shapes. You can also double click in to grab one point. So you see that little blue dot that happens in the middle of the circle. So you have a, a, a smaller blue circle inside the highlighted white circle. You double click in and you can do the same thing. Again, it's easier to do with a keyboard where you have the Alt or the Option key, which all keyboards will have. 
but you can double click in and just adjust corners like this with double clicking in. Same thing will apply for shapes like triangles and the, the tombstone shape where you can see here, we already have the top that has been affected here to be a semicircle. But again, if I just make all of these go back out, we essentially just have a rectangle. And so just keep that in mind when you are creating shapes or trying to create new shapes or trying to create semicircles and things like that. We already have some shapes that are already preset to that. Now this rounding corner radius feature also applies to perspective shapes like this one where you can see that this panel, this kind of bar goes away. It kind of looks like it's like reaching away from you. And the same thing will apply here if you want them rounded or if you want to apply it to just certain parts of it or you want maybe something sharp and then to get rounder at the end or vice versa or whatever. You can also shift any perspective of a shape by holding the shift key and moving up and down. You can see like this and so you can get some really interesting, uh, you can get some really interesting objects along with the rounded corner feature just like you're seeing right here. Okay, a couple of pieces where the rounding corner feature will not work at the current moment because right now it is based off of connecting points that make the most sense, right? Two edged points, two line points that are connecting. So you can see in this shape right here, we have one sharp line here and one sharp line here connecting these points, meaning we can round the corners of the top left and right part of this shape. Now, if you notice, you do not see the little nodes down here on the bottom left or right of this curved feature because this is a curved path, meaning it is a complex path with more points to it for us to create this shape. So this is something that we are currently working on at the moment, and that is something that we will be releasing in the future, just as well as you can see right here. These are two curved lines on the sides of these shapes, so there are no points for you to round any corners, as well as on the circle shapes like that. Again, there's no shapes for you to, there's no cor corners for you to unround because it is in, in itself a rounded shape. All right, and a couple of ways I think this would be helpful is, for example, if you are creating some slides maybe for your social media or maybe you are creating some uh, graphics for your website or what have you, maybe you want to round off certain calls to action, which you might have found difficult to do in Kittle unless you are using a specific shape. But for example, I've got this like fake button that might be a static ad that I'm running on my social media or just a, a, a normal post in general. And what I can do now is instead of having this super sharp looking button, I can round off the corners right here for a more subtle shape, or I can keep rounding them all together until we have more of that perfect pill shape, which would have been a little bit difficult in the past with you would have to mold different shapes together in Kittle, you'd have to grab this shape and then kind of duplicate it three times. But now we can do really cool things with this one shape, like add border to it, we can add shadow to it, and it applies to just the shape at large. We don't have to connect different shapes together to make this one shape. And if we want to continue to change it, we can do so with all of the same effects taking place, which I think is really really neat but you let me know in the comments how are you going to be using the rounding corners feature in Kittle are you going to be making interesting shapes to utilize in your designs that'd be super cool to see or are you going to use it more of a practical way like I showed here creating different button shapes and calls to action and things like that or maybe you're going to try out that super trending bento box looking grid system that has a bunch of rounded corners around it that would be also interesting to know so let us know down in the comments what you think about this feature overall if you have any questions or concerns let us know down there as well don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video